Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's the Saving Berry Road to Glory career mode on FIFA 20, my name's Arlad, and this is episode 14. Thanks a lot for joining me, and thanks as well to everybody who's helped me get to 50 subscribers on the channel. I really appreciate the support, you guys have been awesome. Continue to do that, and hopefully we can get to 100. On with today's episode, I have been wanting to do a Youth Academy update, so we'll start with that. And Neil Ennis, the right back from Ireland, started out as a 54 overall, has gone up by 3 to 57. No appearances, mainly because we've only just promoted him from the academy. Then there's Ian Fitzpatrick, started out at 55, he's gone up by 7 to a 62. Similar to Ennis, he's only just been promoted, but look at that, 5 star skill moves. Uh, Mark McDonald, we know about. Started out as a 54, he's gone up by 3 to 57, 14 appearances, 3 assists, average rating of 7, that's because he's been playing in the rotation side, so promising so far for him. And then there's Chris Kennedy, the goalkeeper, he's 15, he's still in the academy so we can't promote him yet because of his age, uh, no growth at the moment to report. The next one is Declan King, only just promoted a plus 1. Um, on his growth, he's only just been promoted 4 star weak foot and um, yeah he's from England. The next guy is Oliver Lee, another English winger, uh, 4 star weak foot, uh, 2 star skill move but high attacking work rate, he's gone up by 1 to 59. And then Harrison Shaw, a centre forward we've just recently picked up, he is a plus 1, he's still in the academy and good ball control and composure. And the final guy is Hokovar from Slovenia. We've only just signed him, but I wanted to show you his profile before we get to the games. On with the games, let's see how we get on. So let's take a look at the games in today's episode. As you can see, midway through February. And uh, so today we're going to actually finish the month of February off. We start with a game away at MK Dons, and we've got to aim for some uh, retribution as they beat us last time, if you remember, in the first game of the season. Uh, so hopefully we can win this time. And then um, we face Peterborough, who are chasing promotion. It's another away game. And uh, obviously they're, they're at the top of the league. So that's going to be a difficult game for us the following Saturday on the 22nd. We'll finish this episode with a match at home against Lincoln City on the 29th. Let's get on and see how we fare against MK Dons to start this episode. First game of the episode away at MK Don's rotation lineup. Let's see if we can grab the win. A glad win turns inside. Bowery out to McGrandles. We've got a mark up here. Bowery. Oh, and it's a fantastic stop from Charlie. MK Don's trying to work it out of defence. More Taylor. That's a sloppy pass. And here comes Spasov. Cuts inside to Latore. Latore takes it on. And he's going to have a go here, Latore. Oh, and he fires it just wide. The youngster from Canada has impressed since coming over to Gig Lane. But there was nothing impressive about that shot. Spasov showing his power as he just muscles his way past Houghton. Spasov. Oh, he spots the runner, Latore. That's a great pass. And Latore's in again here. And he puts the finish to it. It's a low, hard shot from the Canadian. And there you go, just like that. The Bulgarian Spasov with the vision. And oh, that was hammered past the goalie. It's almost at him, really. But he's hit it with such force. The goalie can't react in time. And Latore gives us the lead here. Good lad. Crossed in. Oh, headed away. Good header. Come on, get the ball. Oh, somebody stayed down there. Come on, get up, get up. Oh, he's giving it away to Perez. Oh, but he can't take. My eyes were so focused on whoever was down on the floor. Like Gastrol, Spasov, McDonald. McDonald, oh, was that a save? Right on the stroke of half time. Mark McDonald, he thundered that off the post. And at half time, we go in 1-0. Job done so far, but a little bit of a worry on the centre-back, Gastrol. He's no spring chicken, we're going to have to take him off and actually replace him with an even older player, Boroughbridge. He's wanted game time anyway, so hopefully that's not too serious. McGrandles, 
just before the hour. And McGrandles again. Thompson trying to get across here, but we're marking up well. Oh, Ferreira. Back post. Oh, and they've scored. It's Gladwin. Gladwin scored. Let's see what happened here. The cross comes in. Finally comes in. Al Shayat, the youngster who's come in from he's the Egyptian. He does decide to jump, thankfully, but it's not enough. And uh, MK Dons have equalised. Ibiri into Latouri. Latouri, nice pass. Spasov drops the shoulder. Goes by his man. Spasov! Oh, and a great save from Fisher. <laughs> Usually on his left foot. That's only going to be a goal. It wriggled away. Lovely drop of the shoulder. McDonald crosses it. Ibiri! It's 2-1. Jabo Ibiri, that's exactly why he's in the side, ahead of Saboslai. He's got so much power and strength to his headers. And look at the direction of that header. McDonald as well, you've got to say. The goal isn't scored without a great assist, without a great cross. And uh, poor marking from MK Dons to allow Ibiri to head that in. 15 minutes ago, Trowley clears it. And MK Dons once again looking for the equaliser. Rebound central here. Oh, and Livington's in. And he scores. But the referee, the linesman's got his flag up. It's not going to count. It's offside. Berry get away with one here. Quick replay. As this shot comes in and it leaves his foot. Healy. And now back to Reeves. Healy. Gladwin. Not again. Oh, and he fires it over. He did enough to put him off. Come on, 2-1. Hold out for this win. Berry players frantically running round to mark up. We've done a good job so far. This would be some retribution. But here comes Morris. Stop the cross. Oh, it's the pullback. Oh, and it's put in by Conor McGrandles on the 93rd minute. Three minutes added on, and basically the time ran out. I think it's 93.20. So, MK Dons get away with one here. They've managed to score at the end, and the game ends 2-2. Conor McGrandles rescues MK Dons. We don't get the win that we want. It's a little disappointing, but you know what? Before the game, I'd have taken a point. And uh, let me know, guys, what you think. Is that a good point against MK Dons in the comments? On to the next game against Peterborough. Second game, some highlights to show you. Peterborough United away. And Peterborough United in the top three. Always going to be a difficult one at the Abax. Uh, half an hour in. Uh, it lasted 33-34 minutes. Dembele wriggles clear of Rossi here. Somehow gets a shot away. And uh, Fabiani with a superb stop. Showing why he still remains our number one. That would actually lead us to get a counter-attack against them. Probably the only chance we're going to get. And uh, Yeboa into Goslin. Goslin's going to check back. And look at this. Into Aminicus. And I think he's going to score, but he's heavy touch. Then it comes to Mubagna. And his shot, as ferocious as it was, pushed away by Pim. You'll see the ball breaks kindly. Bobbling around there. It was like a pinball. And uh, if he puts that in the corner, we score. Um... We get to half time nil nil. I'm thinking to myself, this is a fantastic result if we can just hold out. Five minutes to go, Peterborough come at us again. Boyd to Samodix, conscious of the cross. Um, Ferreira goes out to meet him, and Rossi caught sleeping. Boyd would then stick it in. Um, really disappointing because up until this point, it looked like we were actually going to earn a point, which would have been more than enough. You know, um, we're not expected to get anything from this game. And now to go from having a point to not having any at all, just for that momentary lapse in com concentration, these top sides are going to do that to you. And uh, Rossi, and obviously Demiroglu comes across the captain. He sees the danger, but he can't mark two men. Um, 90 minutes, and look at this combination. Lovely, into Ibiri. Atkinson right in front of goal. A chance to square the game. But Pim comes to their rescue again. Just the quality there in difference. Boyd, the um, veteran Boyd, ends up being the um, saviour for Peterborough. 
as we give them a bit of a scare. We really did give it a go defensively, but just didn't have enough in our locker. Um, I'd have taken the point, but, you know, we'll take it on the chin and see if we can get a result against Lincoln in the next game. Final game of the episode, we're playing Lincoln City at home, Gig Lane, and the first team back out after that Peterborough game where we held out so well. If we can put in a kind of defensive performance and add to the offence, then we should get the three points. And uh, opening five minutes, Lincoln have been popping it around, trying to get themselves into an attacking position. Here comes Anderson. Oh, he can't get past Thiago Ferreira. Excellent tackle to dispossess him. The right back's out of position here. Can we work it? Goslin to Yeboah. Yeboah down the left. Come on, pick someone out. Pick someone out. There's Amenicus back post. And it's 1-0 to Berry. That's really well done. Superb piece of counter-attack. And it's been a couple of weeks, maybe even two months since uh, Panos scored. So I'm glad that he's on the score sheet. Yeboah picks him out for an assist across the six-yard box. <laughs> goalie lashes it. Uh, Panos uh, lashes it. The goalie ends up matching it into his own top corner. <laughs> but it's 1-0. It will take that. And now, oh, overrun. Morel into Hopper. And Hopper pulls it back. Lewis, great stop from Fabiani. That's why he's number one. Payne takes the touch, it's offside. Here's Anderson looking to get by Thiago. And Thiago says no again, he's having a fantastic game at left back. And uh, oh now, it looks like they're going to be caught out again here. Goslin, can they work it? And Yeboah, and <laughs> Bostwick can't catch him, he's been stripped. Yeboah, yes, it's 2-0. Emmanuel Yeboah. A fantastic counter-attack again from Berry, And Lincoln City have got no answer. And you'd have to think they'd be almost too scared to attack us. Yeboah completely rinsed. <laughs> Look at Bostwick struggling to get back. This guy's some class act, Yeboah. Often overshadowed a little bit by Farris because of the goals that he scores. But Amani Yeboah with... His sixth goal in League One. Fantastic contribution from the left wing. Crossed in, Rossi clears. Moon Bagner to Armenicus. Armenicus into Goslin, and look at this. Your bow is having a field day out here. Look at this. He hasn't got the legs, he's a bit gassed. Checks back. He's going to pick out Moon Bagner. It's three. Three sensational counter attacking goals. And Berry have sealed the game up, really, unless they capitulate in the second half. The ball bubbles into the six-yard box, and Farris says, thank you, thank you very much. Gobbles it up like Pac-Man. Edge of the box and just slams it home. Look at Danzi. Almost a perfect display so far. And Farris Moon-Bagner now has 14 goals in League One in his first season. And at half time, we go in 3 0. And the man pulling the strings is Amani Oboa with two assists and a goal in just 45 minutes of action. And you'd have to think the Lincoln manager is going to be reading them the riot act going in here. They are all at sea. Second half, Grant trying to get by Neris. Crosses it in. Demiroglu clears. Atkinson into you. Goslin it is. Oh, that's a wonderful pass. And Manikas Panos is clear down the right. He hasn't quite got the pace of your power, but he's going to get this in. Panos, come on, pick someone out. Oh, he tried to your bow at the back post, but they clear. Crookside, he's going to go wide to Neris. Neris, encouraged to run on to Barry Neris. Takes a touch. Crosses it, dinked into Armenicus. Oh, and desperate defending. One extra pass would have got him in. Neris comes up against Grant and just powers his way past him. The Uruguayan continues his run. Oh, now is that a foul? That looked like a foul to me. Lewis might have got away with one there. Let's take a look at it. Neris takes a touch here, looking to cross it in. 
And as Lewis comes in, he doesn't touch the ball there, does he? Oh, look like a foul to me, that ref. Linesman's right there. And the score ends three goals to nil. The first three goals, I should say the three goals in the first half, um, were enough to put Lincoln City, who held on in the second half, to be fair, they stepped up their defensive game and made sure that we only got the three goals. But all three are scorers with the three forwards and we'll be happy with that. Rossi will be happy and Fabiani happy. We kept a clean sheet. The goal difference are plus three. Um, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Um, superb counter-attacking performance as we pick up all three points at Gig Lane. All right, guys, that wraps up episode 14 of Saving Berry. Join me for Friday's episode, which is episode 15. Same time, same place. I appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. If you're uh, not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. And remember, sharing is caring. If you um, like what you're seeing, uh, please do share it on your social media. Invite your friends to come and check me out and see how we're getting on. Remember, this is an interactive career, so you can post in the comments if you have any ideas. I'll see you guys on Friday. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.